Hi students! Thanks for joining on my channel today. It has been a while since I have introduced a new app for students and recently many students have asked me for a good way to practice pronunciation at home. So I spent some time looking through previous apps that I have tested and found one that I think you will like. Remember, the difficulty with pronunciation is that there is nobody at your home to tell you if you are pronouncing correctly or not. Um, however, with our increased technology on our devices, we are able to use AI, artificial intelligence, like voice recognition that can help you to push forward on those pieces of pronunciation even when you are at your home or without a native English speaker to help you. So the app we are going to talk about today is called ELSA, E-L-S-A. And let's head over to my phone so that I can show you the app in action. Okay, so on my device, I'm going to the App Store, either the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store, however you download an app onto your device. For myself, this is the Google Play Store. Inside of the Play Store or the App Market, I'm going to search for Elsa, E-L-S-A, Elsa English. And you should see this image of the, um, you should see this, this image of a star, um, something like this should come up and that's the app that you want to find. Um, my button here shows open, yours should show install because you don't have this on your device yet. So let me open the Elsa app and show you what we can do with it. When I first open this ELSA app, it's asking me to log into my account. You can make an account or you can use this completely without an account. Um, this app is halfway free and halfway paid. I recommend using the free pieces of the app until you decide that this has a good value for you. Um, and then you might choose to do a subscription of four or five dollars a month to continue working on your pronunciation. I don't have an account, so I'm going to click this button that says discover. It's asking me what is my native language. Um, maybe your language is listed here and you want to select it. Then they are pulling from common difficulties for your home language but maybe your home language is English. However, a different style of English pronunciation. Um, thinking about my students in Liberia, in Ghana, um, in countries that speak English, but a different pronunciation. So I'm going to come down here to the very bottom for myself, and I'm going to just select other. You could choose any of these languages to, to enter. Now it's asking me to analyze myself. What's my level of English? Beginner, lower intermediate, intermediate, upper, advanced. And this is going to be used to give you a quiz, to give you a short pronunciation test to analyze your pronunciation. Um, I'm going to select advanced and I'm going to hit continue. Hello. Your turn. Press the microphone icon and then speak the phrase. After recording my, my hello, I'm going to click next. Continue. And it gives me an option for lessons. I'm going to hit continue again. 
It asks me what time do I want to practice. This is to set a reminder, but I don't want a reminder, so I'm going to click this skip in the corner. Now again, they're asking you to make an account. You absolutely can, but it's not necessary. At the bottom, you can click, I'll do it later. Inside of the ELSA app, there are a variety of different things that you can do, and we can find the different skills by looking across the bottom at this small toolbar. You can click on skills, which then gives me a long list of different pronunciations to practice. We can click on topics, which gives me some different um, topics to practice. Um, vocabulary for social media, vocabulary for a getaway, vocabulary for school. Um, we can click into the dictionary and we can click into the progress to see an assessment of myself. Now, right now, I haven't done any practice yet on this app, so there's no actual progress to see here. Um, if I click into skills and I want to listen to the first skill, which is practicing the M, M, N, and ing, ng. Part of what it asks me to do first is to listen to see if I can identify the different sounds. Game. Gain, game. Swim, swing, swim, swing, swim. Because the first step in producing a sound is being able to hear the sound, we start with identifying the difference. Now, I'm going to skip this, this review. Um, I hit continue. Ah, it wants me to buy the program. I'm going to click skip. It's going to give me the next practice, which is going to be speaking that m, n, and ng. Now, because I'm recording this video to show you the app, I can't record my sounds inside of the app. It, it doesn't let me do both at the same time. But let's click into it just to see what it looks like, and then we'll go back out to the beginning of the app. Welcome. Press the speakerphone icon to hear me speak. Listen. Your turn. Press the microphone icon and then speak the phrase. When I come back out to the beginning of the app, um, I'm still in that nasal category. You can see across the top here, I'm still studying that m, n, and ing. I'm still in the nasal category. And then there are different activities that I will do in a row to practice these nasal sounds. Maybe you say that those sounds are easy for you, but what's actually very hard for you is two consonants together, a consonant cluster. You can watch a short video talking about consonant clusters and then practice those consonant clusters, two or three consonants together. Um, maybe those are easy for you, but you really have a hard time with the sound at the end of the word and you want to click into that. All of these are the different skills just in this first piece. The second piece here at the bottom, the topics, gives you different practice. Again, where I'm learning some phrases, I'm speaking the, the phrases. Normal. Again, it's not going to recognize my speaking. Um, I'm, I'm going back out. I'm practicing again. I'm practicing again. I can also do, if I change to all topics, 
everyday English, mispronunciations, videos specific for Vietnamese, healthcare, um, a lot, a lot, a lot of different practices. The other option that you can do on Elsa is using this top corner where you see a play button, and these are the video conversations. And this is another great piece that they have available where you can listen to a conversation between two people. I seriously need a vacation. Me too. Is there some place you have in mind? And then you're recording a phrase to go along with that conversation. So I would push here on my microphone and I would say, me too. Is there some place you have in mind? And the AI will make an analysis of my pronunciation. What did you think about the Elsa app? Is it something you are interested to download and try for yourself for pronunciation practice? Have you tried it before? Leave me any comments, questions, feedback about the app if you try it in the comments underneath of this video. And as always, ask me any questions that you would like me to address in a future video. Until next time, students. Bye.